I'm Hannah Patterson and I'm in Dorset to take a look at Park Dean's action-packed Sanford Holiday Park. Fabulous Hailing Island Holiday Park. I'm on Nairn Beach on the beautiful Moray Firth. And I'm at St Mimba Holiday Park. I'm on the coast of Dumfries and Galloway. Mullion Holiday Park. This is my instructor Rob, he's going to show me the ropes. And once you're done with swimming, simply enjoy the warmth by kicking back and relaxing on the sun lounges. If you want to bag a view like that of the Donnock Firth, you need to book early. Park Dean offer the creme de la creme of holiday homes with stunning interiors, well-planned spaces. You can head out onto the veranda and chill. Perfect. But I'm on my hole, so I think I'll let someone else do the cooking. And if you wander up there a little bit, you'll find some lovely walks along the southwest coastal path. Slight change of pace and I'm on the Padstow Rock Ferry. Just up the coast you'll find Port Isaac, full of gorgeous beaches and West Bay is one of the best. But now it's a natural reserve for hundreds of free swans. The night times, it's all about kicking back and relaxing. So head up, stand up, stretch your body, stretch your Listening to what people are saying and then trying to come to solutions together is probably going to be really powerful and very different from a local authority point of view. I think that'll be a really interesting aspect of the project for the young people as well, to be able to see some of the barriers that exist within mental health services and support. MRI is a powerful, non-invasive imaging tool that allows direct visualisation of the internal structures of a subject. We can do 3D reconstructions of your data set to assess the volumes or the structures. Winifred Raphael was quite an inspiration. She wasn't a nurse herself, um, but probably influenced nurse research and supporting early career nurse researchers more than many, many other people have. She was particularly well known for her study on patients and their hospitals. He's off chemo now, has been for a few months. Um, he's got more energy. The staff do make things so much easier for you. I've never met such a, an inspiring group of people. You know, we wouldn't have got through it without these people. You are here for a long time. You know, to have wires coming out of him and to be in theatre every week and to have those stresses. He, he needs mum and dad around and mum and dad need each other. Central was for the Healy's and everybody who touched the project. The Healy's shaped our lives, you know. I suppose we we fell in love with Oberhausen. It's been 21 years since my father and I saw this site. It only seems like yesterday, really. We've taken Centro from a from a wasteland to Germany's best shopping centre. The aim is to try and show the able and disabled, which means that we are able to do things and to show that Allah really loves us and cares for us. There's a free ebook that I've written called Allah Says I Am Able. Social occasions, I can have friends round and accommodate them, but also for myself, it's a lovely, peaceful environment where I feel at home. I'd love to think that certain members of my family and friends will eventually come and live here because it's a lovely environment to be in. She'd been 14 months in hospital. It sent our family into turmoil because we were split apart. Me and Sienna are in hospital, and my mum and the other children at home. Coming to Bluebell Wood is brilliant because I get some me time. I get to relax and secure in the fact that Sienna's totally happy. Welcome to Country and Equestrian, who offer a fresh alternative to the old style, more traditional country homes agencies. The appeal of this beautiful part of the world extends far beyond a local catchment. 70% of buyers come from outside the area and connections with the London market have become increasingly important. Moving to Sheffield. I've got a list of things to do tomorrow still. 
and we'll leave it there, Lou. My name's Seb, and this is my journey to Sheffield. Pretty nervous, pretty excited, and I've never lived in a city before. Uh, I'm in the city of Copenhagen.